Hey, Bruce Naylor here, and uh, today we're going to do an unboxing of the Razer Core X eGPU enclosure. Now, this goes along with the new uh, 2018 Mac Mini that I ordered last week. Now, I got the one with the 3.2 gigahertz i7 processor, 512 gigabytes of internal storage, and uh, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, I ordered a 32 gigabyte upgrade kit that I will install later. Uh, the weak thing about the Mac Mini, of course, is the Intel G30, uh, with the, uh, the Intel 630 graphics on there. And I'm going to be using it to edit my videos on Final Cut Pro. So I definitely needed an eGPU. And I looked at several models, and I decided to go with the Razer Core X. And we're going to unbox that in just a moment. Uh, I think that the Mac Mini will do a great job for me going forward. We sure hope so. <laughs> Uh, I sold my uh, 14, or 15 inch MacBook Pro, it's a 2014 model. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get to this unboxing. Now, as far as the, the graphics card that I'm gonna be uh, using in this, it's a older MSI RX 480, which is supported uh, by Apple on there. They're not supporting the, uh, the NVIDIA cards, the new NVIDIA cards with eGPUs and so forth. I'm not sure what the reason behind that is, but uh, nonetheless, this thing is a beast. Three hundred dollars on Amazon, bit spendy, but um, not terrible. Certainly not going to pop the money for one of those Black Magic non-upgradable eGPUs. This on the market. This thing is really, really heavy. I think it weighs about fifteen pounds. Support up to a triple wide. Uh, video card. Hopefully we're going to be able to get this on the video. It is a big enclosure. Wow. It's going to actually hit the boom arm. So the first thing we have is a box. I'm going to assume that there's an electrical, you know, the cable and so paperwork and so forth in that box. I'll set that off to the side. And Another piece of cardboard. I'm gonna have to. Uh... Wow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to pull this off the table to get it out. This thing's a tank, folks. It is a tank. Okay. Take this wrap off of it all the way around. This is uh, aluminum, by the way. Man, this thing is heavy. Go ahead and turn it around. Razor Core logo. It only has one Thunderbolt 3 port on it, so it's not a hub or anything like that. Let's take a look at what's in the uh, box. I think it's heavy. Let's get into the box here. Move this kind of over to the side. My setup's not really geared towards uh, super heavy stuff. Got a uh, thank you for choosing a Razor system. Okay, thank you card. We have a manual with some Razor stickers. Yeah, never owned a Razor product before in my life. Okay, other than that, we have the power cord. And finally, we have a Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is, I believe, about a half a meter, which is going to be kind of short, uh, because that means you've got to have this thing really, really close to the Mac Mini. So what I did is I op opted for a uh, three-foot Thunderbolt 3 cable, 
that's active and it was very expensive, like $50 expensive, but that will give me more latitude on how far away I can uh, have the uh, Mac Mini from the enclosure. All right, so to open this, pull this handle out and the enclosure, I'm not sure what you call it, cage, whatever, comes out. Remove before use. Okay. All right. Oh man, I use some heavy duty tape. That comes right out. Comes with a uh, 650 watt power supply, multiple power pin cables or four pin, six pin, two extra pins. Should be plenty of juice for my machine. Here's the slot. Boom. Hold your card in place. Pretty simple device. I understand these wires are pretty pretty short, so you gotta kind of fiddle with them a little bit. Plug your graphics card in here, put it back in the case, and should be good to go. Three are $2.99 on Amazon. If you're interested in one of these, Amazon affiliate link down below works with Windows. Works with Mac for your, your laptops, your MacBook Pros, your Windows PCs with a Windows or with a Thunderbolt 3 port. So yeah, that's it. This is the unboxing of this. Can't wait to get it all put together and show you the new system. So thanks for watching everybody. Bruce Naylor, Frugal Tech. And uh, when we get this all set up, I'll show it to you. Take care, everybody.